Check out these awesome hobby boxes. Today I'll pretend this was a live stream, as that's the only way I can get away with such a long video. Ha ha ha! Hello my friends, Millicard Trading here, coming to you with another video. So last weekend, I sold about, about $400 worth of cards on eBay. So I immediately turned around and put that money towards some new boxes that would hopefully produce some new cards for me to sell. So today those all came in and I would like to show you what I got. This little stack here. This is about not quite for say about $350 worth. So I've got a Tops Archives Signature Series Retired Player Edition. There's one slabbed auto in there. I'll do do that last. Actually, here's another Tops Archives Signature Series. Uh, this is current players though, uh, one slabbed auto. So I'll do those two last. These are on sale right now at Dave and Adams, uh, Panini Mosaic, uh, 15 cards per pack, 10 packs per box with three autos per box. And last but definitely not least, Topps Chrome Update. And these are supposed to have one, at least one guaranteed auto. So, what should I start with, guys? Let's see, my friends, how about Mosaic? I think that's probably a good place to start. Before we open any packs, please like and subscribe. My channel's doing pretty good, and so is my eBay uh, channel. On YouTube, I'm Miller Card Trading, and on eBay, I'm Miller Card Trading. Let's see what we got here. It's been a while. Actually, I have not opened a box of Mosaic 2022. I've opened Mosaic uh, 2021. Only, no, I think I opened two boxes of that. All right, 10 packs of 15, beautiful. So hopefully we get some good autos out of this, you guys, and some good uh, refractors. If you can see that Ronaldo card right there, that's a mosaic, that's a typical kind of refractor you get out of, out of mosaic. That's the unnumbered uh, kind of refractor. They do have a lot of different, different kinds of refractors that are numbered and autos. And maybe I can open this thing. I have old man hands. <laughs> I, I just can't open anything. Alright. So we'll have some base cards here. So this would be a blue parallel. Angel Zerpa, that's numbered uh, out of 99. Alec Manoa Refractor, that is not numbered. All right, check these out. That is one heck of a refractor, am I right? Nathan Avaldi, not numbered. A-Rod, that's a good card. And Swagger, Brandon Crawford Refractor, unnumbered. All right, I guess we should slip up the Angel Zerpa. What do you think, folks? Blue Parallel, number down to 99. All right, we'll put you right over there. Okay, pack number two it is. So I call this a uh, mixer, I guess, is what everyone calls it. A bunch of different kinds of products all in one video. 
first time I've done that usually I only open one type of product on a video but here we go Jacob DeGrom actually I won't read every name I hate it when people do that there's good old Jake Berger read that much uh, backwards card guys guess what that means and you know what it's Brian De La Cruz he is one of the good rookies I believe all right starting off with a decent auto yeah there's sticker autos of course I think I think pr pretty much all the mosaic are sticker all right we got Trevor story straight fire that's not numbered and capital gains so they have all kinds of different inserts in this set I'm uh, not exactly familiar with all the different inserts not a bad auto for the first one Hey, Ty France, one of our Mariners. Juan Soto, Xander Bogarts. We got some good names in here. Seiya Suzuki, Hoi Jun Park. Hey, Ryan Sandberg. He's one of my favorites from the 80s and 90s. Looks like we got another auto here. Who's it going to be? Someone I'm unfamiliar with. Zach Louther. You know, I don't even know if I've even, ever even heard that name, folks. That's okay. Somebody out there has heard of him. At least his parents, right? <laughs> That's not very nice. All right. I mean, are these refractors or what? Look at that sucker. You almost have to put on sunglasses to look at it. But I figure I'll put any auto into a top loader. You know, these cards are thicker. I probably should be using a 55 point. Oh, wait, I had a few more cards here. Rowanzi Contreras Refractor. Shiny Sucker. Lance McCullers. And this is that straight up fire. And Justin Verlander, Men of Mastery. No numbers on those. Okay, next pack. So, I don't know if you guys witnessed that tragedy of a baseball game between Mexico and the United States. Oh my. It was embarrassing. I mean, where's all of our good pitchers, right? Vidal Brujan. I mean, Brady Singer, he's a great pitcher. I know he just, he wasn't really catching his stride. There's a good pitcher, Mariano Rivera. Beautiful pitcher. Marcus Stroman. I thought maybe that was a uh, parallel, but I don't think so. Ah, Swagger, Ken Griffey Jr., and blistered another insert so far two autos and one parallel so we got two autos quite quickly we got more than half the pack left Vladimir Guerrero Gabriel hey there's Julio I was just gonna say Man, where's Julio? And of course, it couldn't be the parallel that was behind it. Doggone it. Julio, you can go there. And of course, I get Jesse Winker as my numbered parallel out of 49. Dang it, Winker. Not even on the Mariners anymore. 
and was terrible when he was on the Mariners. I was so stoked when he got traded to the Mariners. I was really excited. And then he was just the worst. So that was a purple. We got Jack Flaherty, Refractor. Louis Robert, super shiny card. V-Tool, Mike Trout. V-Tool. Another insert. And Capital Gains, Trey Turner. Okay, that's half the pack, folks. Hey, maybe... You know what? I've seen people actually get four autos out of these boxes. That'd be cool if I got four. These are on these box hobby boxes of Mosaic are on sale for I think it was eighty nine bucks on uh, David Adams. And the uh, hey, look at that Pena and Bobby Wet right there. Not uh, they're not refractors or parallels though, unfortunately. George Brett, my other one of my other favorite players. Alejo Lopez, Spencer Strider, excellent rookie pitcher, Cody Bellinger, hey, there's Otani, one of my other favorite modern players, Long Ball Masters, and Swagger, Francisco Lindor, all right. Hopefully the U.S. recovers. They'll recover from losing to Mexico. They're one and one now. Uh, I'm not sure who they play next. But whoever it is, I'm sure we're better than them. Although if you've seen, been watching it all, man, Japan. Are they on fire? Of course, with Otani. He hit like a 460 foot home run. In the last game I saw 1990 stars Frank Thomas Frank all right 90 stars Larry Walker that's a refractor not numbered Willie Adamas not numbered blistered Jordan Alvarez and a long ball masters refractor Mark McGuire these cards are really cool I mean they are so Super shiny, am I right? I was hoping to get one of these uh, super rare inserts. Let's see, it's called a uh, glass mosaic or storm chasers. Oh, don't mind that. That's just more of my old man hands. Ryan Mountcastle, Classe, don't see. Springer, Tatis. Sure would like to get a Julio uh, Parallel or Refractor out of this. Joe Ryan. Juan Yepes, of course. Blue Parallel out of 99. I mean, he's a rookie, and I'm sure he's decent. He's just no Julio, you know what I mean? Jackson Coar, unnumbered. Carson Kelly, unnumbered. Men of Mastery, and Christian Yelich, straight fire. Two packs left in this box. Come on, give me a Julio or an Otani parallel refractor. Or an auto. I wouldn't shake a stick at an auto either. Of course, I never get autos of anyone like super good. Oh, there's my third auto. And of course, it's a name I don't recognize. TJ Anton Anthony? Huh. I don't recognize him either. That's kind of a bummer. Although, there, you know, any auto is a good auto. That's what I say. Okay. 
Will Smith refractor. Yu Darvish, man, Yu Darvish is on the Jap Japan team too. He's really good. Rodon, and uh, there's a straight fire refractor. Hmm. That's not numbered. Okay, last pack, folks. Out of this box, anyways. Why? Well, I've enjoyed this box. It's not. It's not bad. Am I right? For 80, 80, 85 bucks, you get a lot of cards. The cards are nice, thick stock. You can see that. They're super glossy. It'd be actually be a cool set to uh, collect the whole set. Hey, look at that. We did get a fourth auto. Nice. Matt Veerling. Rookie auto. Hey, that's cool. That makes the box even more worth it. Cool. So they were right on the video I was watching that said you tend to get uh, four autos instead of three. Here, I'm going to try a 55. Oh, yeah, that fits much better. <laughs> okay. Four autos. Right on. Okay, Seth Beer, Rookie Refractor. Another Jesse Winker. Dagnabbit. Denied Nolan Arenado, who made a bobble in that game against Mexico. Jim Tomei, great, great player. Okay, let us clear the deck here. We'll just stack our commons there. Okay, so here's what we got out of the 2022 Mosaic box. TJ Anthony. I don't, he's not a rookie, so that's just a... Uh, veteran auto Zach Lothar rookie auto uh, Brian De La Cruz rookie auto that I believe might be worth a few bucks and Matt Veerling rookie auto which may be valuable as well uh, we got a Juan Yepes blue Jesse Winker purple uh, regular Julio and Angel Zerpa blue so not a, not a bad haul. Not sure if it's $80 worth or not. I'm just not sure what the value is on those uh, autographs. Okay. Next up, my friends, is going to be Topps Chrome Update. I haven't opened this one yet this year either. And I think I'm going to open a box of... Card shells, 55 point top loaders. I heard about these from Striker, so I ordered some and they are very nice. So I've ordered quite a few different uh, products from them, including the armelopes, which are great for sending, sending cards to eBay buyers. Okay, here we go. Tops Chrome Update. We got 24 packs with four cards in each pack. Let's hope for a monster refractor auto. Cross your toes and your fingers and your eyes and all of that. Of course, this isn't live, so if you're doing that now, it won't help, but do it anyways. Okay. I keep bumping the camera. Jeez. There seems to be a massive piece of cardboard in the bottom there. Okay. And away we go. First pack. Tops 2022 Chrome Update. Hoo! I might have mentioned that uh, each one of these packs has a purple parallel. MJ Melendez, Alec Thomas, both rookies. Hey, three rookies. Alex Fado, four rookies. Joe Dunnand. All right. Four rookies in that pack. That's pretty cool. You know, rookies are where it's at. A lot of people... Um, 
collect only rookies in their personal collection. Jack Zawinski. Hey, let's keep this up and we will hopefully get the rookies up. Ah, looky there. Connor Pilkington. Every card so far has been a rookie. That's awesome. Look at this. Julio All-Star Game. That's a that's a refractor too. Uh, it's not numbered, but it's a rainbow refractor. Nice. Somebody will want that for sure. All right. I should have placed some stands. I'll just do that. Okay, I was hoping I would get a purple Coolio, but that's a good start. And hopefully, I will get an auto out of this box. Watching the other people rip it, it seems like every other box has an auto in it, which is cool. Stephen Kwan, Josh Donaldson. Donaldson's our first non-rookie card out of the whole box. Vidal Bruhan, rookie debut, Bryce Elder. Getting good rookies so far. If it go, keeps going like this, we'll definitely get Bobby Wood and Wander. We'll get the, uh, I'd like to get the regular uh, Julio. Martin Perez, Kevin Smith rookie, Tyler Molly, Matt Olson. Seems like they could have done like, instead of uh, 24 packs of four, maybe like 12 packs of eight. Am I right? That'd be way less stuff to open. Bryce Harper. Lucius Fox. Another Jesse Winker. <laughs> Seth Lugo. Orlando Arkea. Michael Lorenzen, purple. So with the purple in every pack, there's a pretty good chance of getting a decent purple. Oh! There I go with my old man hands again, knocking everything over. Hunter Renfro. Bradley Zimmer. Aledmus Diaz, Cole Urban. Well, those first few packs were all rookies. Now we seem to be getting, okay. Rookie, Nelson Cruz, Kyle Schwarby, Jan Gomes. I think they pronounce it Gomes instead of Gomez. It looks like Gomez to me. All right, Mike Brousseau, Matt Duffy, Jake Walsh, Rich Hill. All right, come on, Tax. Let's get a decent purple parallel here. Kyle Bradish. Oh, there we go. There's a uh, Generation Now Rainbow Refractor, Wander Franco. Too bad it's not signed, right? But it's a good card. I think somebody will want that. And we got a Corey Kluber purple. Yeah, that's actually a nice card. That's the first generation now we've gotten. Okay. Bo Brisky. Bryson Stott. Rookie debut, that's a good one. Brandon Marsh, rookie debut. Zach Pinky. Alright, last pack of the first half of the box. Bill Woods, good old Bill Woods. Ethan Roberts, man, I thought it was the same guy for a second. Aaron Judge, that's cool. Craig Kimbrell, somebody will like that judge. 
All right. Here we go on the second half of the box. I see another generation now. Johan Duran, Eugenio Suarez, Heliot Ramos, Luke Williams. Okay. They're, they seem to be hiding my super good cards. So, I'll fight. I just saw Bobby Witt on the back. I guess they're not hiding it. Uh, Hunter Green. Look at that. Bobby Witt. Rookie debut purple. Yes. That's a good one. I was, you know, it's not his, uh, regular rookie card is a rookie debut but that is counteracted by the fact that it is a purple the purples are unnumbered but they're still cool all right check that out you guys purple bobby wit that can't be the best card out of the pack though <clears throat> we're still looking for that banger a good rookie auto. Refractor. Correa. Sean Doolittle. Julio. Debut. I think it's not a refractor. Usually that seems like that third card has been a refractor a lot of times. Debut. And the centering is not good on this. Look how fat that is on that side and skinny on that side. That is a severe bummer. Although I know that's a lot of the complaints with the Topps Chrome this year has been about the quality control. There's been a lot of uh, off-center, a lot of dinged up cards and whatnot. Okay, let's keep rolling. All right, we've stumbled into a few good cards there. Lucky, there it is. Bobby Witt, true rookie. And it's it's actually centered pretty well. Check that out. Very nice. Bobby Witt, true rookie. Excellent. I'm really uh, anxious to see what autos I get out of those two Tops archives. Bobby Witt, True Rookie. Excellent. Now we see the Julio True Rookie Purple. That's what I really want. Unless it's a Julio Auto. There's Wander Franco, Rookie Debut. Nick Allen. Luis Guillorme. Taylor Walls. And I forgot these last couple. Richie Palacios. There's Christy Matheson. Uh, what do they call that? Diamond... Diamond something. Oh my. Okay. Here's a couple of really. You know what, you guys? This box is turning out to be pretty good. Here is Wander Franco. Rookie debut. So we got the Wander generation now. Refractor, the Wander rookie debut. Oop. And check this out CJ Abrams rookie debut purple. Dang, this box is actually turning out pretty good. Better than I could have hoped. It's actually centered. that right there hmm curious I hope it's not a dent I don't have very good feeling in my fingers so I can't really tell but that that's awesome that's our second good purple rookie debut nice all right let's top it off with a whopper Joe Ryan 
CJ Abrams. Oh man. Okay, that's the CJ Abrams true rookie. Joe Ryan. I thought I, I had tricked myself into thinking something was there that wasn't actually there. <laughs> it was one of those uh, diamond grates or whatever they're called. Alright, CJ Abrams. Alright, what do we got? One, two, three. Six packs left, you guys. I'm starting to doubt that we're going to get a auto out of this. MJ Melendez, rookie debut. That's that's a cool card because it's Bobby Witt on the front with him. See that? That's a good card too. Nice uh, horizontal card. Nick Lodolo. Man, there's a look. Oh! <laughs> We did get an auto, you guys. Bowden Francis. Unfortunately, I've never heard of him. Blue Jays pitcher. Rookie auto refractor. Unnumbered. Don't matter to me. That's cool. It's not the name I was looking for. But I was hoping to at least get one auto out of this box. And there it is. Check it out. Nice card, huh? Go next to Julio. Okay, Nick Lodolo, rookie. Jerickson Profar. Purple. I kind of like the purples. People don't really like them because they're not numbered. But, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty nice looking. Especially if it's a good name. Jose Iglesias, Chris Paddock. Dustin May and Connor Doe. That was a lumpy pack. Let's get back to the rookies here. Avasil Garcia, Robinson Chirinos, Johnny Mees, George Kirby. Yes, I know his uh, his cards don't sell for a ton, but I like George Kirby. He's an excellent pitcher. Rookie pitcher for the Mariners last year. Just did phenomenally. Yeah, George. Nice. Okay. Wait, I didn't hear it. Let's see. Yeah, we looked at those. Okay. Last two packs. Bryson Stott. Anderson Severino. Shane Boz. Tyro Estrada. Tyro? Tyro? Tyro Estrada? Not sure how you pronounce that. Had another Generation Now card in there. We got quite a few of those. Those are neat looking cards. Hunter Dozier. Roberto Perez. Johan Jaron Duran. Rookie card. Jeremy Pena Purple True Rookie Dude, you guys This is actually A really good box I am very happy With this box <laughs> I mean If it had just had A purple Julio oop, God, I keep hitting the camera A purple Julio but you can't have everything. We did get the Julio uh, All-Star card, which is pretty cool. But we didn't even get the Julio True Rookie. Yep. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Carlos Rodon, Eddie Matthews, and Christian Pache. Okay, that was our last pack of Chrome. Jaron Duran. Okay. Very good box, you guys. All kinds of purples. We got CJ Abrams and Jeremy Pena and Bobby Witt. All purple parallel rookies. Wander Franco. 
We got his Generation Now and his Rookie Debut. We got the Julio Rookie Debut. We got the Bobby Witt uh, True Rookie. We got a Bowden Francis Rookie Auto. Somebody I've never heard of. The Julio All-Star Game Refractor. And then the uh, MJ Melendez Rookie with Bobby Witt on the front. And the C.J. Abrams True Rookie, which actually deserves a top loader because that one's worth a few bucks, I believe. And George Kirby, Purple Parallel. Okay, that's it for our two uh, good size hobby boxes. And now we're down to the big boys. Woo! Before I open these, you guys, please like and subscribe. Go check out my channel. I've got, I'm probably up to about 20 videos. And I've got 21 subscribers and I would like to grow that. Alright, here it is. 2022 Topps Archive Signature Series 1 in case buyback auto per box. I've seen a lot of good cards come out of these, and I've seen a lot of bad cards. So we're hoping for a low number, uh, or a rookie, or something like that. And I'm not going to do the slow roll review uh, reveal like everyone else does. I'm just going to open it. Luke Voigt. 26 out of 99. That is one of the ones we hoped we wouldn't get. That's a terrible one. Bummer. See, that's numbered there, 26 out of 99. I mean, someone will, someone will buy it. I, I don't know what it's worth. Probably not very much. Shoot. Well, that's a bummer, guys. So now we're just going to have to hope that we get a Hall of Famer out of this. Although I've seen a lot of bad cards come out of these too. So this is Topps Archive Signature uh, Retired Player Edition. I've seen a lot of one of ones and Hall of Famers come out of these. So let's hope. Kent Herbeck. 16 of 17. Uh, you know what? I don't have any idea <laughs> uh, that's it was that 89 tops oh my you know what I think we struck out with both of them you guys but that's the way it goes that's what these boxes are like so there it is Kent Herbeck and Luke Voigt unfortunately somebody will want them uh, maybe you want them <laughs> Go on e my eBay store. Check it out. They'll be up there for sale. Thanks for watching my video all the way to the end. If there is anybody still watching, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and check my wares out on eBay. See you later.